Hi everybody, Sean here. Um, on today's installment of Sean's page, I want to discuss with you a couple speakers. We all like sound, hopefully, and we all want good speakers. So I recently acquired the um, Ultimate Ears UE, you hear a lot of people say Boom 2, and a Sonos Play 1. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the pros and the cons, which one I selected and why. Um, to cut it short, if you want, if you trust any reviews that I do, I selected the Sonos uh, as my favorite. Um, but, but let's not leave it right there. You may like the Ultimate Ears, and we're going to discuss pros and cons of both and why I selected the Sonos. First, let's talk about the Ultimate Ears. This is the Boom 2, there was the Boom, the Boom 2, and there's also the Mega Boom, much bigger speaker. This is, um, according to Amazon, 1.2 pounds, and has a frequency range of 90 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It's a big number, it's a big range. What you want to know is if you can find out how quickly it can move from one end to the other. And the speakers, they don't tell you about that. Um, so, let's move on. Sound. Sounds good. Sounds really good. It's designed to be 360 sound. And I noticed that as I move around, I hear different notes, different tones from different parts of the speaker. It's not a great speaker to sit on a bookshelf. It has a little right here. You see this is a little hook. You can hang it or unscrew the little hook. And it is the same thread pitch as a tripod. So you can stick it on your tripod. Problem is, it also has the charger and your head, your your auxiliary input on the charger side. So you can't do all at once. Um, they probably should have put the controls right here and your charger and your auxiliary input on the same side to make it a little bit nicer. But the, the, uh, the Sonos Play 1 doesn't have an auxiliary input. You can only listen from Wi-Fi. This is also Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a compressed file and it's not as clear. It's not as good as the files over Wi-Fi. So that's another drawback. Pluses, if you want to hang this, it's battery powered. So if you want to hang this out, put it on, you're at a party, you're out on your patio, uh, they're waterproof. I think under. I think these can go underwater for half an hour. Um, you you can hang it, have a party. Three people, three different devices can control it. So three of your buds can have their um, their phones operate this and take turns playing music. These will sync, um, pushing the Bluetooth and the Plus, and then going to another Ultimate Ears Boom Two. Uh, pushing the there's a combination pushing the Bluetooth twice or something you can sync 50 of these so if you got a big party you put these all over the place 15 hour battery life is what they rate this at um, sound great it's very light so it doesn't have the magnets the big speakers so you don't get thunder uh, if you're looking for thunder the Sonos doesn't give that to you either it gives a great sound um, but if you want real big quality sound, you need the great big speakers that sit on your floor or on mounts. You don't get out of a 4 inch cone the amount of air moving that you get out of a 10 inch cone or a 12 inch cone. It's just a matter of physics. While the Sonos and the Ultimate Ears sound great, they're not going to sound as good as a big system. My system in my living room is a kicker and it's pretty loud, pretty clear, it's got a little subwoofer, it's not great, it's not as great as my old system which had ferrofluid cooled speakers and could, to be an exaggeration, blow out a birthday cake candles. It did move a lot of air and you could really feel it. Not so with this, not so with the Sonos. Let's go, that's a great segue, let's talk about the Sonos now. Here it is. I don't know its frequency range, I haven't seen it published, suffice it to say, it sounds great. Um, it's heavy, this is 4.08 pounds, it has a Ethernet port, and this is a mount. 
I don't know the thread pitch. I assume it will be the same as your tripod, but they do sell wall mounts. So you can hook this up to your wall for surround sound for your TV. When you sync two of these together, they make a stereo. The Ultimate Ears, as far as I know, I want to set this down because it's heavy. The Ultimate Ears, as far as I know, when I synced, synced a couple of them at the store, it didn't give stereo separation. It, they both played the same stuff. <clears throat> Sonos will give you stereo. Sonos sets up easy. Sonos is over Wi-Fi. So it's a much clearer signal. It's not compressed. You get a great sound out of it. It also um, does not have an auxiliary. So you cannot plug your, um, if you have, if you really like sound, if you're watching this because you really like sound, you probably have a really good MP3 player. You don't use an iPhone. You don't use an Android. You use an MP3 player or a CD player or a, a turntable. There's no way to plug it into this. You have to go over Wi-Fi. That's kind of a drawback. Sonos, put an auxiliary port in. I'm talking to you. Auxiliary port. Uh, expensive? 200 bucks. Sound out of the Sonos just fills the room. It sounds great. These again are not big speakers. They're not the big cones that move a lot of air and make a lot of sound. These will not cause physical damage to you the way uh, some big speaker systems will. They'll just, the big ones will just rattle your cage. It's like being at a concert. Super clear. Hits all the notes. Highs, lows. You get all the nuances out of it. It's a great speaker. Um, I chose this because I'm going to stay plugged in. I don't need the battery power. I like the Wi-Fi um, for the better sound quality. And it's going to stay in one spot. This guy is heading back to the store after the review because I don't need the battery. It's going to be plugged in. I don't need want to hear my sound through Bluetooth. It does have an auxiliary port. That's a great idea. I have plugged in my MP3 player. Fantastic. Um, ports are on the wrong end. Ultimate Ears, a new next design. Ports on one end, mount on the other end. So I can get to stuff while mounted on a tripod. Or actually, this thread pitch, you could probably find a wall mount for it. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's going back. The waterproofness of this is great, though. It may not go back. I may just leave it out in my yard to party in the backyard. So, in closing, I hope this video gave you some info. The Sonos, if you want a really clear sound, really fast connection to your phone, this is the way to go. This thing sounds great. Um, if you want portability, battery power, the sound isn't, if you're not there to listen to music, you're there because it's background noise, um, you're, par you're having a party, the Ultimate Ears is fantastic for that. If you want to relax, listen to some, some sounds, get your music going while you're cooking dinner, Sonos. Plus with the Sonos app, if I have a bunch of these in different rooms, I can tell what speaker I want to play what song through my phone. It's really cool. I just go, master bedroom, play this, this stuff. Living room, play this stuff. It's a neat, it's a neat system. It's very expensive. They make a lot of other speakers. Uh, I think when you move up to like the Play 3 and the Play 5, you get an auxiliary jack. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll put a comment below. I'll find that out. Um, and if you like the video, share it. Tell your friends. Subscribe below. You can subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Sonos. Ultimate Ears. Here they are. Both, both on screen at the same time. You make your, your choice, what you like. Again, this one was weird with the 360 sound. I didn't like that. I, when I moved around this thing, it was sitting on my breakfast bar. And when I moved around, it seemed like when I went to one side of it, I got a lot of highs. And when I went to the other side, I got a lot of lows. It was kind of freaky, and I didn't notice that it could actually cover all of those notes. Um, just not all in the same spot. This will cover them all, all in the same place. It sounds great. Um, like it, subscribe, share it, tell your friends about it. Um, let me know what you decide. Did you decide on the Ultimate Ears? Did you decide on the Sonos? Did you decide based on my video? 
Uh, right now the Ultimate Ears is 149 and the Sonos is uh, 199 Maybe that's, maybe that's the deal. Maybe that's a deal breaker, this price. Let me know. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And like, subscribe. I'm going to put a couple other videos in the corners um, for you to click on and, and watch. And I really, I really appreciate you all uh, watching me. Thank you very much and bye-bye.